Hello learners, myself Simran from Team Cloud EML and I welcome you all back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are coming up with another interview SQL question asked by the company Cred. So let's begin. With the question, uh, by understanding the question. So this is the question. Write an SQL query to swap the seat ID of every two consecutive students. If the number of students is odd and the ID is of the last student, uh, then the uh, ID is not swapped. Re return the result table ordered by ID in ascending order. Here you have been given uh, two columns, ID and student name, wherein you need to swap the seat ID and uh, of every two consecutive students. Consecutive students as in students that are present uh, one after the other and uh, two consecutive students, the ID of such two consecutive students has to, has to be swapped, which means exchanged. Then if the number of students is odd, which means if the ID is an odd number and also the ID is of the last student, then it is not swapped, it is kept unchanged. Let's look at the sample input first. The table name is seat table, wherein you have two columns, ID and student. And uh, the first ID and up to the fifth ID is present and student names are given. The output table seems to be like this. It has the same ID and students column. And as you can see, the student's name have been swapped. See, uh, first in the input, you had first ID as Abbott and second ID as Doris. But now, you have the first ID as Doris, second ID as Abbott. Similarly, third one was Emerson, fourth one was Green, but now you have third one as Green and fourth one as Emerson. The fifth student, James, uh, from the given condition, you can see that it is an odd number. Five is an odd number. And also, it is the last ID from our table. So, that is the reason it is not swapped. And it does not have any consecutive row as well. So with whom it will be swapped, right? So it is just kept alone. So five is present the way it is given. And all these IDs are arranged in an ascending order as given in the question. So let's start by creating the database. Create database. Interview nine. And then use database interview. Select this and run. So the database has been created. Next, we need to create the table and insert records into it. So we will be creating the table seats, which has two columns, seat ID and student. And we will be inserting five records as given in the uh, sample input. So our table has been created. As you can see, five rows are present from one to five. Now let's see the first approach to solve this question. In the first approach, we'll be simply using the union uh, clause. As we know, in our question, we have three distinct, uh, what we say, conditions. The first condition is that the ID is simply odd. The next condition is the ID is even. And the third condition is that the ID is odd and also the ID is the last ID. These are the three distinct conditions. So we will be applying the conditions uh, to se separate uh, table and we'll be retrieving that data and then the data will be uh, joined using the union. So let's see how to do that. So select star from. This is the first condition that we'll be applying. Okay, so select ID minus one, so ID plus one as ID comma student. So we'll be selecting first ID plus one as ID because in our output table, we have the column name as ID. Student from C, where our first condition is for odd numbers, only for odd numbers, okay? So ID modulo of two equal one. ID modulo of two equal one means whenever we divide a number, a odd number by two, then the remainder is always one. So that is the reason we have applied this condition. Also, if the ID is odd, then we also need to check that it is not the last ID. Okay, so ID 
not pin. How to know the last ID? Select max ID, ID. Max ID from C. So it will check whether the ID is not present in max ID. Here max ID is 5. So it will consider all the odd numbers that are not equal to 5, which means it will consider the numbers 1 and 3. Correct? Because they are also odd and they are not equal to 5. So our first condition is done. Next condition, we'll apply union first and then the next condition will be that it, uh, the number is uh, even. So we will select ID minus 1 as ID comma student from C where odd number means ID modulo 2 equals to 0. This is the condition for odd uh, even number. Sorry. And next you have union. Again select ID. For now we, now we will be only selecting ID. I will tell you why. ID comma student from seat where id modulo 1 sorry modulo 2 equal 1 and id in now we will be checking the condition for seat id which means the id is the last uh, seat id max id from seat this means that the ID is the max ID, okay, as S order by ID because we need to order the results by ID. First, let's uh, run the command and then I will explain to you the entire query. So, select and run. So, as you can see, our uh, results have been swapped. The students have been swapped. So let's understand how we have performed this. See, we had three conditions, right? Uh, first, the condition is completely odd. The ID is completely odd. Second, the ID is even. Third, the ID is odd and it is also the last ID. So the first condition that we have applied is for only odd numbers, only the odd IDs, and they are not the last ID. So this is the condition wherein we select ID plus one. Why do we select ID plus one? So suppose this is our table. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. We have the IDs one, two, three, four, and five. This is the ID column. So why do we select ID plus one for odd numbers? These are our odd numbers, correct? And only odd numbers. They are not the last ID. So this is ID and we need to swap it with the next number, consecutive number, right? So this is the reason we perform, we perform ID plus one. Why? Because we need to swap it with the next ID, consecutive. One and two are consecutive, three and four are consecutive, correct? So this is the reason and again, we have three, we need to exchange it with four. So three is, four is nothing but three plus one. So that is why we perform ID plus one. So, we have done ID plus 1, we extract ID plus 1 as ID and also the corresponding student name from the table seat where ID modulo of 2 equal 1, which means the ID is an odd number and also the ID is not the last ID. Okay, so our first condition is done. Next condition is that the number is an even number. So, for the condition of even number, we add ID modulo 2 equals 0. And why do we take ID minus 1? It is just similar. See, ID uh, even numbers are these, 2 and 4. And we need to swap it with the consecutive number. These are two consecutive numbers. So, we need to swap 2 with 1. We need to go one step backward, 4 to 3. So, that is why we, we perform ID minus 1. Correct. Why? Because we need to swap it with the previous number. In case of odd numbers, we want to swap it with the forward numbers. That is why we perform plus one. But in case of even numbers, we need to swap it with one number previous. So we perform minus one. Okay. I hope I'm clear. And then next we, uh, we have the last condition that is the number is an odd number 
and also it is the last id correct so that is why we just extract id because what we have told in the question is uh, the id has to be kept unchanged if it is the odd number and it is the last id so we just extract id comma student where id modulo 2 is 1 this is the condition for odd number and id in which means id is equal to select max id from seat max id is nothing but 5 so it will check whether the id is equal to 5 if it is 5 then it will keep the id as unchanged as s the result is stored in this alias s order by id so this is the reason we get the ids in order if we remove this order by id then let's see what what result will be will we get see it has been uh, extracted in any order see 2 4 1 3 5 so in our question we have been given that we want it in ascending order of the id so that is why we put order by id okay so i hope you have understood the first approach now let's move ahead with the second approach in the second approach we will be using the case function in sql wherein we'll be applying the three conditions and uh, the resulting action that has to be performed for the three conditions as we know we have three conditions with us correct the first condition is that we have odd number odd and last id correct Second condition is that it is only odd and not last ID. Third condition is that uh, the ID is an even number. So now we will be applying this three condition using case function in SQL. Let's see how to do that. So we will be selecting. In the select function only, uh, in the select as, in select only, we will be applying the case. So case when. The first condition is that the ID, let's apply the first condition that the ID is odd and it is also the last ID. So first let's do it for the odd. We have the condition for odd that is ID modulo 2 equals 1. Done with the condition for odd and also ID in. We have select max ID from C. Okay, we have been done with the first condition. Correct? See, first condition has been done. Next, we will be apply it for odd. But first, let's specify that what value should it be replaced with. So, the value that it should be replaced with is then id. Because we know if it is odd and if it is the last number, then we need to keep it as id only. Correct? Next, we will be uh, apply the second condition, which is the uh, ID is odd. So for odd ID, when ID modulo two equal one, then what we will be what we did in the previous approach, we just incremented the ID by one, and I've explained that why we have incremented it by one. So ID plus one, correct. And the next is else. Next third condition, we will be just keeping it as else. Like if these two conditions are not satisfied, then automatically the else condition will be satisfied. So the else condition is nothing but a third condition that the ID is even. So the ID will be decremented by one, correct? So ID is decremented by one and it will be uh, retrieved as ID comma student. The data will be retrieved as id comma student from seed from seed order by id so i have made this code properly understandable to you let's run this now okay and we have we, we have retrieved the data in the swapped from in the swapped order see doris abbott have been swapped green emerson have been swapped and jeans is kept as it was Okay, so we have just applied case function on the three conditions 
first we have considered the first condition wherein the number is odd and it is also the last element which is the last id if this condition is satisfied then id will be just kept as id next condition is that the number is odd so if the number modulo 2 is 1 then the id is incremented by 1 and the, uh, the automatically the last condition will be the else one else condition which means the uh, even condition that the uh, that the id is even so if both of these conditions are not satisfied then automatically the else condition will get satisfied and the id will be decremented by one it will be extracted as id comma student from the table c and it will be ordered by id column Okay, so these were the two approaches wherein we just applied three, three different different conditions. We first found out those conditions and then applied it using two approaches. First one was the union approach wherein we just selected uh, the data as per the conditions and we just joined it simply joined it. And the second approach was we uh, performed the case function wherein we applied the three condition and the actions that has to be performed when three conditions are satisfied. okay so keep practicing uh, sql and uh, do follow us for more such questions uh, like the video and share it as well thank you for watching